music has always been a way to create connection and to inspire ways that you can relate to another person. And why not do that in a virtual sense? So these online virtual classrooms that we created allowed these young people to build a community, even if only virtually. I've been in a lot of musical communities for a really long time now, and to have that, even though we've been at home and even though we've been online, has been really wonderful, and ha it has happened, which I was, was a little surprising. I didn't expect it to be as, I think, emotionally impactful on me as it has been. Since we started the program in the summer, I have worked with 45 young people, and they have written over 90 pieces of music. Um, most of these pieces are brand new compositions. There have been a few arrangements of existing tunes, but most of this work is truly brand new creative work from the pandemic era. My inspiration for this piece was uh, the woods and kind of forests. And I tried to encapsulate uh, the environment commonly presented in movies and video games. The skills I've learned in this program vary from getting my ideas onto the paper, uh, learning how to communicate exactly how I want the music to sound to potential performers, to, to even the nitty gritty music theory. In the SPARK program, we provide an opportunity for young people to discover a voice and to connect to music in a way that maybe they wouldn't otherwise. So many of our students have played an instrument before or are dancers or have composed before but haven't done so in a setting like this. And I think Spark provides yet another entry point or another point of connection for them to music and to who they are as an artist. I love music, that's like my whole passion. And, um, especially music composition. I listen to a lot of uh, music scores from like movies and soundtracks and stuff. And I, I just love it. And I've, I've wanted to um, figure out a way to progress with my passion. What surprised me the most about this is discovering my own abilities. I never tried to write music before. I figured it was too hard. I wasn't good enough to do it. And Spark has taught me that I really can do it and so can anybody. This course has definitely made me more comfortable with my music and just music in general. Um, when I first started piano lessons, I was like, eh, I don't really think this is my thing. I'm not sure if I wanna keep doing this. And now I'm getting a lot more comfortable and it even applies to my dancing and i am been proud of myself. I think the most significant thing I've gotten out of this is how to formally like structure a composition and how the instruments interact with each other and what the result can be. The most exciting for, thing for me is just to get to make music and get to keep making music over and over again. Um, the fact that I'm not being asked to write the same type of song and actually being encouraged to like branch out into different things. Like this is my third I think dance but it's a very different dance from anything I've written. did a tango inspired by an uh, excerpt from this book, uh, The House on Mango Street. There's a line about this girl whose name is Marin, and uh, she's dancing under a street light. And this image was so beautiful to me that I ended up writing a tango um, inspired by what song would Marin be dancing to under the street light? Every week, every student meets with me to work on their individual project. And by the end of six weeks, every student has a piece ready to share. And then we share those pieces in a showcase sponsored by the Walla Walla Symphony. And the student shares an MP3 sound file that is from a computer. 
of their work, they share a PDF of their score, and then a Walla Walla Symphony musician plays a little excerpt from their piece so the student gets to hear a bit live of their work. The most memorable moment for me is definitely the showcases where I get to uh, show my friends and family the music that I've been working on. Some of the more, more memorable moments were definitely whenever I finish a piece, just kind of getting to listen to it all the way through and thinking, oh, I made that. And then also during, during the showcases when I get to hear someone play a part of my piece live, it's always a good feeling. The pieces I'm most proud of is I've written a couple of string quartets which always start with me fiddling around on my violin and finding a melody that I like and then building layers into it with the other instruments in the string quartet. And I think my favorite one of them was the rondo that I just did. The rondo I wrote was inspired by an animal actually. It's inspired by a hare. And it's got like this sort of jumping parts but then also has this long flowing part of like a hare running across a field. The way I like to teach composition is that you are just asking yourself a series of questions and you're answering them in the score. So we start out with our first question is, what's your inspiration? And the student could be inspired by anything, by a person, by a story, by a season, by a color, by a word. So they get to choose what their jumping off point is. And then we go from there. What instruments do you want to write for? What key do you want to be in? What range should we start in? What is our time signature? And we just keep asking questions. And I think teaching composition, even to very beginning musicians, is so empowering. The composition that I am currently making is a collaboration with BB Kleiner over here. <laughs> and, um, it's mostly about a hamster that is purple and it's just going through its day. Like it wakes up and it eats some food, then it goes on its wheel. And um, <laughs> I put some cat meows in. So it's like at, one, at some points the hamster is getting chased by the cat. And at the end of the song, there's like a cat meow. So it's like the cat ate the hamster. I want people to feel happy when they hear our piece because, well, we're pretty proud of it and um, we hope other people enjoy it as much as we do. <laughs> The most exciting thing for me has been seeing the students develop and grow from session to session. So I love opening the door to brand new composers, but then it's been amazing to watch them try new things, try new styles, add instruments to their repertoire. And then that just makes me want to give them even more tools so that they can keep growing and developing. So I definitely want to keep composing and keep writing and have, having that as a creative outlet has been really exciting to me uh, to be able to make my own original thought into music that I care about so deeply. Um, I have this voice notes on my phone that are just like constantly filled of little me singing random melodies or piano or bass lines that I think are cool and to be able to look at that and say that's not just something that I thought was cool but something that I actually think I can create something out of is really really awesome. We're excited that Spark is going to become a mainstay in the symphony's programming. Um, I think the virtual part will actually remain a big component of Spark even when we're back to normal even when we're gathering again. Um, the virtual setting allows for use of software in a really novel way. There's a collaborative software that allows both ends of the users to kind of work in real time together, um, which is more difficult to do actually when you're together in the same room. So there's some real advantages to the virtual space. For the future though, we are hoping to be able to incorporate, incorporate more of the live performance part and the workshopping of the music that happens so that the young composers can get to know real life musicians, learn how their instruments work and get feedback about how their pieces are, are in real time. 
Um, so we'll be offering some opportunities for those composers and musicians to dialogue, get more feedback, and maybe do some performances. And I think the dream um, would be to be able to offer a, a concert that's open to the community that showcases several of the, of the works of the young people that we've been working with. Mm -hmm.